Hi everyone, I've got a really nice endgame puzzle here. This particular one comes from a study by Henrik Rink uh, as part of, I believe, uh, National Master Jeremy Kane's uh, series on Henry Rink and some of his amazing endgame compla compilations. And uh, this particular one is a really nice one. Uh, I was actually surprised how good it was until I actually saw the sort of final solution. So to kind of give you a summary of this position, it's uh, white to move and to try and find the winning solution. But the thing to note about this position is these two bishops. So we have what's known as an opposite colored bishop scenario. Now, normally in opposite color bishop endings, it tends to be a draw, even if you're up two pawns. So black, well, white, I should say, has to find a way to see if he can win in this position. And as I say, it's not it's easier said than done. Um, so see if you can solve it. It's actually a really nice uh, puzzle to try and train yourself. So, you know, do spend a bit of time trying to solve it. Um, and if you want to, skip ahead to the solution then. But otherwise, let's have a look at this solution. Okay, so for this particular one, a really nice solution to this one. Um, he starts with the move bishop to e4 check. And after, now the most testing line, I should say, in this is king to h6. I'll show you why in just a minute. So now white can play the move b7. And it looks as though white should be comfortably winning here. There's no way to stop this pawn from promoting on b8. So in theory, this should be an easy win. But now black can play bishop to g7. This is a really important move. And there's only one move that works here. And I know that sounds crazy, but only one move works in this position. If uh, we play the move pawn to b8 and promote to a queen, this is in fact going to be a draw. I know that sounds difficult to believe, but it is in fact true. As now after bishop takes here, now forking both the king and the queen, if we take here, this, would you believe it, is stalemate. And this is what I found really awesome about this puzzle. Notice that the king cannot go along here because of this queen. It can't go to these squares and it can't go to this because of the bishop coming down this diagonal. So is there anything better for white to do here? Well, even if he tries something like uh, king to a2 here, uh, well, black can take this pawn. It stops it from promoting. So what should white do? Well, in actual fact, the best move here is promotion still, but instead of going towards a queen, you've got to change it to a bishop. And uh, in this position, this is now going to be an easy win for uh, white now. After king to g5, we can slowly move our way up the board. I'll just show you a sort of example continuation. So something like this. And basically, we'll slowly but surely get to a position where we can promote this pawn. So uh, at some point, after we start moving our pieces down, we'll get to this sort of position. The king would start, I guess, just moving around. And then as soon as we can push this pawn with e7, now take this with the two bishops and the king is a theoretical win. So this is what we want to try and aim for. So yeah, that is the puzzle. A very nice puzzle. I really enjoyed the, uh, the stalemate trick there. I think when I first did this puzzle, I was like, yeah, this is easy, this is easy. And then I went, oh, there's a stalemate. And I didn't even realize that there was a stalemate. So I hope you guys were able to solve it. I hope you weren't trapped by the stalemate trick in this one as well. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Take care.